<laughs> it's pretty good spelling. Pretty good spelling. You know, Mountaineer fans are everywhere, and you know, we got to have a little bit of fun here. And it kind of reminds me of a story that one night I went to bed and I had a dream that Joe Paterno had died and gone to heaven. That kind of surprised me right there. <laughs> anyhow, anyhow, when Joe got there, St. Pete met him at the pearly gates and said, You know, Joe, you've done a great job on earth. And he said, uh, You've taken a lot of boys and made men out of them. You've done a great job for Penn State. You've done a great job for college football. And he said, Joe, we're going to treat you special here. He says, we have a blue and white bungalow for you. And he says, you know, we don't do that for everybody in heaven. And he says, if you follow me, I'll show you your new home. So they're walking up the hill, and Joe looks, and he sees this about a thousand square foot blue and white bungalow, and that Penn State flag hanging and flying, and it's a little torn and tattered. And all of a sudden, he looks up on the next hill. He sees this beautiful blue and gold mansion. <laughs> and that day going flying WV. And he stops and he says, St. Pete, can I ask you a question? St. Peter says, Sure, Joe, what's up? He says, Now don't misunderstand me. He says, I'm really grateful about my bungalow. But he says, I look up there and I see that blue and gold mansion with that flying WV. What the hell did that kneeling guy do to earn that? Mansion. He said, Joe, that's not Don's house, that's God's house. <laughs> <laughs>